This was all that stood between eight women and an oncoming pickup truck. This eight pound hollow steel tube is supposed to keep passengers safe from side impact? A special grand jury report a year in the making just released criticizes reformatted town cars into unregulated stretch limousines. Woefully inadequate and unacceptable. After a Hicksville limo hired by eight young women for a July 2015 winery tour attempted a U-turn on County Road 48 in Depot Lane, a pickup truck T-boned the right side, killing four and gravely injuring four others. According to the report, one of the victim's mothers told the limo driver, you see these eight beautiful babies, the way I'm leaving them with you, I want them back. Given the length of these, Limousines cannot properly make a U-turn. The grand jury found a perfect storm. Poor limousine construction, a badly designed traffic light. This replaced a yellow blinking light. But with no green arrow to protect a limo from oncoming traffic, it makes U-turns even riskier. And tourists are unfamiliar with the road. The problem is not going away. The vineyards are still very well attended on the North Fork. Did it come as a shock to you? Victims' families are shattered. In October, October, a judge threw out the indictment against limo driver Carlos Pino, meaning no one is now criminally responsible. Pickup driver Steve Romeo is charged with DWI, but he may be in the midst of a plea deal with prosecutors. Families are seeking justice. Thank you. What else could I say? We lost our granddaughter. Get tough on limo safety, says the grand jury. Stricter licensing requirements. Better regulation and inspection. New national standards enforced. From Riverhead Criminal Court, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.